quiet as you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I do not know what space balls is. It sounds like a porno. It doesn't. Okay, shut up. <laughs> but it's funny. Have you ever... Oh, wait a second. I might have seen this. I'm looking at the poster. John Candy? Yes. Yep. Okay, yes, I have. No, you're just saying that so we don't yell at you. No, 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 no. <laughs> you trying to say the Batman theme? <laughs> <laughs> when you said Pizza the Hut, it, it rang a bell. Pizza the Hut! <laughs> <laughs> of course. So quickly ate himself to death. <laughs> Next up is Punk Ghost Review on Rocky Five Thousand. <laughs> I've seen that movie a little bit too much, but... Yeah. You know what's there... a great movie, too, is uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Yes, oh, it is. There, you have seen a Mel Brooks movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Men, in, okay. Men in Tights. They took your arms, but you grew some nice boobs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like, we are the... Mar I am Robin Hood, and these are my merry men. Merry as in, uh... No, 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 just happy merry. <laughs> no, 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 just... Happy, Mary. Oh, Unlike I've... most Robin Hoods, I have an English accent. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've seen Young Frankenstein. I <laughs> love that movie. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> no, my name is Frankenstein. And you must be Igor? No, Igor. Really? <laughs> yep. Uh, um, I told you wrong. Um, I Igor, what brain did you <laughs> give me? Abby something. Abby something. <laughs> Oh, yes, Abby Normal. Abby, Abby Normal. Yes. Wait a second. Gene Hackman's in this movie? Yeah. Yes. Oh, and so is Ian Abercrombie, who died today, who was Alfred. Uh, Gene, Gene Hackman was hit by a car. Yeah, he was. That I, sucks. Dude, yeah. that's a horrible way to go out. Just walking along the street, then, pa! Pwned by he a car. He didn't die. He's not dead. Oh. Nor should we be joking about his death. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he, he didn't. He didn't. He's, he's, he got sent to a hospital. I think he's okay. On January 13th, and this is on Wikipedia, and 13th is actually spelt with letters. On January 13th, uh, 2012, Gene Hackman was struck by a car while riding a bicycle. Friday. Who the fuck wrote this? <laughs> it was Friday the 13th when he got hit by a car? He got oh, hit by. Was. He got oh. hit by. He got hit How do you by like them apps? Man, Jason must have been driving that car. You know, Jason <laughs> oh, Voorhees. Well, like I, I got late to work. Hey, is that Lex Luthor? Yeah. <laughs> Say goodbye to the greatest criminal mind from the modern era. <laughs> Bang. You almost drowned Superman, you fuck. <laughs> yeah, just someone hit the gas. Some super su um, Superman fanboy just hit the gas when he saw him. <laughs> Why would they do that? He's so good. I don't know. Maybe he just couldn't separate the reality from the facts. Maybe he did like it that he wore a wig every time he was playing Lex Luthor. This is for no, getting... This basically, is, he wasn't I know wearing it a wig. Wasn't, I know it wasn't a really a wig. The technically it was a bald cap. But his character was wearing a wig. Mm. <laughs> this is for wearing a bald cap, you son of a bitch! Wow. <laughs> Shave your head! Kevin Spacey for the win! <laughs> Spacey shaved his head, and Rosenbaum shaved his head for eight years. <laughs> for eight years! That's Patrick seven, Stewart. however long. Patrick Stewart shaved his head, oh wait. <laughs> He's been bald since he was like 20. Since he was born. He just never had <laughs> he, hair. He never grew hair. <laughs> he just shot out of his mom with a shiny dome It blinded everyone in the room. Engage. <laughs> 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 you know, I used to think that about Steve Martin. I used to think he was just born with white hair. Mm. Made yeah. sense. He wasn't. <laughs> it's the same I mean, thing with know. um Le with um what's his name Leslie um Leslie Les Nielsen. Yeah, yeah, Nielsen. Les yeah, Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen. I always thought I could never see him without white hair. He sadly passed away last year. Yeah, that sucks. I know. Oh. He's up there Speaking now. He's up there now, making God laugh his ass off. Sure is. Oh, yeah, he did. That's right, I forgot about him. Yeah. Don't call me Shirley. Oh. Great beaver. Airplane. 
superhero movie. Superhero uh, movie was hilarious. I don't care what anyone says. That was a funny movie. Good thing we took that shortcut through that playground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is what is this magic? Funny. I was shown it today. Okay. And they, and they laughed. It's Liam Neeson doing sketch comedy. Yes, this is so good. <laughs> I have seen this because, like, I'm a gigantic, gigantic Liam Neeson fan, and yeah, I thought this was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Steve Tyler. <laughs> the funny thing was, after we watched that sketch, we were watching TV, and the, uh, this was awful, but me and my friends were watching the TV, and this kid comes on, he's like, Hi, I have full blown AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was like, why would why would that coincide so well? Yeah. Um wow, this is cool. It's got Ricky Gervais and is that Warwick Davis? Yeah, sure it is. Oh my like, crap, hey you Wicked, what's up? I remember him as Leprechaun, leprechaun more than Wicked. Too. Yeah. I remember him more as the Leprechaun than Wicked. That's weird. <laughs> oh, I remember him as Wicked and Willow. Yeah, me too. You know I've only seen half of Willow. Oh, okay. Well no, that's okay. Sure. Uh, that's probably the reason why I didn't want to keep watching Val Kilmer after No Batman. Bye. <laughs> Apparently, he's fat now. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, he is. Some he's, years. Oh, he, he is. He lost. Like he has completely lost off the bar. Uh, I saw him in a move, some horror movie, where he killed people by these confessions. By rolling on them. <laughs> I wish. He's not that big, is he? <laughs> No, no, no. Like a wild Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> Chips love the car. <laughs> Robin, where? Where, where are those fish sticks? Mmm, uncooked. <laughs> I'll get drive through. Ah, uh, Velcro. And I wish Liam Neeson would just walk into my room. <laughs> I don't know what he would do. He'd probably tell me to go see his newest movie. Go see my new movie. And no just have no right. reason. Like, he'd just walk in and say, watch my movie, and then turn into a swarm of doves and fly out the window. <laughs> he'd like, go watch my newest movie. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, I mean all of them. If you make yourself. He, he's like... I, the Grey came out today, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it's good. Yeah, me too. And I don't care if it's not good. It's got Liam Neeson. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of like the reason with, with Clash of the Titans, I I hated it, but by God, Liam Neeson as Zeus was awesome. Yeah, yeah. If, yeah. if Liam Neeson ever tells me that there's trouble, I'm going to say, I sense nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Neeson, yeah. uh, Liam Neeson uh, needs to be my conscience. If I could have one person narrate my life, it would be Liam Neeson. Yeah, he's pretty great. He was great in Clash of the Titans. Like, I remember when I used to play Ultimate Frisbee in high school, like, we used to have a thing where whenever we would throw the disc off, like, <laughs> to the other team, we would just yell, Release the Kraken! <laughs> he does in that movie. <laughs> and the other team would be like, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> what is going What's Liam Neeson doing here? Uh, you just show up in, like, shiny armor and a beard. Yeah. <laughs> I was in this play in high school that my friend directed, and we were doing it for fun. But he, he also wrote it, and that was I was like this mentor character, kind of like a Mufasa type of thing. And suddenly I just break into, if you make yourself more than just a man. It was like the most fun I've ever had, just pretending to be Liam Neeson. Awesome. That's awesome. Um, Man, I, I, was, I can't wait to see what he does in Fortnite Rises. Uh, yeah, me too. Me too. Um, I was watching Titanic today, you know, the movie that took uh, James Cameron another ten years before he made Avatar and all that shit. Mm -hmm. Is it called Titanic? Yeah, the, ti yeah, the Titanic. Um, I was watching it, and I'm it was the tail end when I was watching it, you know, when the ship's going down. Um, yeah, like I the, love that part. It's so funny. <laughs> like, like the sad, but like it's the saddest moment. I was laughing to myself because I was I was at home by myself and I was watching it, and I'm laughing because I'm all thinking of all these jokes. Like, there's this one guy who jumps off the ed the end of the boat. When he's jumping, he hits the like the engine, the turbine yes. of the boat, and he falls. And I and I think to myself, here's what he shouted when he hit that. I done goofed. <laughs> 
screaming when he hits it, it goes, doof, 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 doof. It's like, that's so hard. Uh, I love when he's like, I'm trying to save lives, that guy, and he shoots someone. Like, it's like, that's kind of counterproductive, but okay. <laughs> No, you're not. So I'm lying. <laughs> you just cap. You just shot two guys dead. <laughs> Mr. Oh. Fantastic's at the end of that movie. I tend to forget him. He uh, was he was looking for people to save. Don't worry, I'm a <laughs> superhero. Come, Come to the in my fantastic car. I will bring you to safety. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there there out his bed, his um. What else is there? Like, you know the scene where the boat's splitting in half? All I could think to myself was, RELEASE THE KRAKEN! <laughs> like, it's it's weird, too, because as a kid, I've always thought to myself, um... Because it, for some reason as a kid, when I watched this movie when I was eight, um, when the iceberg hits, I, like, told myself mentally, nah, an iceberg can't take down a ship. And I just thought to myself, you know what would be cooler than an iceberg? A giant motherfucking sea monster. That would have made the movie better. <laughs> you know what happened if that boat really hit the ice? The ice is gonna break! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I thought you were about to say, the ice man comma. No, I what I quote walk in. Actually, I was, I was actually kind of expecting, like, Mr. Freeze just showing up on the boat. Alright, everybody, chill. 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 Just throwing people chill. off the boat. Yeah. <laughs> most awesome character. Also, most awesome character in Titanic, the cook. He just ha- like when he's hanging off the end of the boat, he just looks. Oh fuck it! He takes out a jo- uh, uh, a whiskey can and just starts chugging it. <laughs> I, know, I I I watched that movie a lot when I was like really young. I don't know why. I was just like I'm like five years old. Let's watch Titanic. So that's a great think, family like, movie. I don't know why. I just watched it a lot. Um, but yeah, I used to think that was like the longest movie ever because it took up two whole VHS tapes. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what is this black magic? <laughs> I don't know why it needed two VHS tapes, but well, now it's on DVD and you can watch the whole thing there. <laughs> it needs two DVDs. <laughs> what is this new technology you talk about? Do you do? Ultraviolet Ray. <laughs> I love <laughs> Billy Zane in Titanic. I think he's hilarious. Yeah. Um, there's another scene in there where this guy's just wearing a top hat and a suit, and he's like, "If I'm going to die, I'm going to die looking good. That's how I want to go out." Well, so do I. No, oh, I want to die butt naked. Suits are for the living. <laughs> but, um. Okay. <laughs> Your move, the rest of the world. <laughs> Only the good die young. There you go. And according to Coolio, naked as well. Yes. Why would you waste a perfectly good suit on a dead person? I don't know, because when you go up to heaven, everybody like, oh man, check out that suit. No, be like, oh, man, be like, check oh, out oh shit, Coolio's naked. They'd be like, oh shit, check out that penis. <laughs> They'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was a dance party. Yeah, like in the newest episode of the Dragon Ball Z Abridged, I was watching it earlier, and Vegeta's like, "You all better duck, because whenever I turn left, I don't want to smack you with my dick." <laughs> like, Speaking of flopping penises around, one of my friends oh, posted this video to my wall on Facebook, and it's a music video of some song where this guy talks about his body and flops his penis around. I don't know what it is. Like, that's a great that, that was just the strangest intro ever speaking of floppy penises that's what I'll try to, it's I like what it is but it's bad it's like it, he talks about how he's sexy and he knows it and then he like gets up on a bar and like flops his penis around with like <laughs> other men and like what the hell he's talking about the the newest whatchamacallit song um, I don't know I don't listen to this new hip mu- music it, I will laugh <laughs> if it says Lady Gaga no, no it, I, it's, it's it's some dude with like an afro. Oh, it's no, it's like, LMFAO. Oh no, 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 no! I hate that song so much. Oh, yeah, in the video, he like flops his penis around and stuff. It's oh, f- oh wait, I think I know the song you're talking about. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, yeah, that thing. He like oh. he wiggles it around. It's not fun. Yeah, it's by LMFAO. They did the, the party rock anthem. That's what? all I've heard since moving to this country. Just that yeah. song. Yeah, sorry about that. Well, you live I in California. I'm surprised. I'm surprised you haven't heard of that song. 
Welcome to my pain. My friend is like a fan of all that music, and I was hanging out with him today, as a matter of fact, and we were driving. I was like, I need earplugs whenever I drive with you, Matt. This is unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. When I when I drive with people here, because I, I don't drive yet, and um, so like my friends always have the radio on, and I'd hear that song, and that song by Rihanna, which is like, <laughs> that, those two songs, all the damn time. And I'm just like, I hate, I hate young people's music. You're yeah. old then. How old are you exactly, Kirk? I'm 19. You're old. I'm older than you. I know you are, but this yeah. young people's music with no taste of music is bad. I feel... Oh, no, this is, this is true. I hate any kind of new music. I've always loved everything from, like, 1999 and before. Yeah. 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 I listen to, like, all 60s and 70s stuff. Yeah, I listen to all the 80s, 90s, and 60s, and 70s stuff. You know, you guys make me feel sometimes like I need a cane or, or a walker. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Damn crazy 19-year-old. There was 150 Pokemon. <laughs> Back in my... Uh, no, I want to do like Duke and be like, whenever he has a flashback, like, Back in Nam. Back in Nam. <laughs> We didn't have your the Facebookies and your MySpaces and your Tweety Boxes. <laughs> well, we used to have a kid in my high school that used to pretend he was a numb, like, all the time as a joke. And he would, like, raise his hand in class when we were, like, on the numb unit. He'd be like, yeah, back in numb, we didn't have food, so we'd have to rub sticks and rocks together and make stick juice. That's all we had. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out he wasn't kidding. He was better rebutted or... Yeah, like, it was so funny, like, one day, like, we had a debate, and he was, like, on the American side, and he came in in, like, full, like, Vietnam period uniform with, like, trees on his helmet and, like, painted face. He's like, I'm ready. <laughs> I want to, like, I want to go out and party with this guy now. <laughs> oh, he's awesome. He, he's, like, the stereotypical redneck. He's, like, drives, like, an old Ford truck, and that he keeps guns in it for no reason. <laughs> It's awesome. See, this is why I wish we didn't have to wear uniforms in school in Australia. <laughs> Moments like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I've compared uh, Australia to, and some people agree with me? It's basically... Australia is basically London's... Uh, they're basically redneck London. Uh, um, I'm not sure if I would quite agree to that. <laughs> but, I mean, that's, to. It's that's a so rule British now. influence. I mean... I, I'm not sure if I've said this to you guys, but we still have the Queen on the back of our coins. Um, really? Yeah, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. Um, I thought you guys, when you, when you guys went to Australia, it was like to get away from the Queen. Well, I mean, we're all we're all ancestors of convicts uh, that first dumped on our land and killed off our native. Uh, <laughs> For the record, Australia has nothing to do with American history, so we don't learn about it in our school. Yeah, I understand that, yet I learned all about your country. Because <laughs> we're America. America! I mean, I learned all about the Civil War and, and all that good stuff, and then the Russian Revolution. I mean, we don't learn about our own history as much, but I enjoy yeah. Australian history. We don't get to learn about it. History is a pretty touchy kind of thing here. Like, I remember we were in the Cold War unit in my high school U.S. history class, and, like, I asked why we thought the Russians and the commies were evil, and my teacher was like, well, because they're evil. Well, obviously. It's was like, but why did we hate them? She's like, well, they're, com they're commies. Yeah. Oh, I'm also convinced my dad has been infected by the Frank Miller hat. Really? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. He basically went off on one day just for no reason. I mentioned the whole Occupy... New, uh, the whole Occupy Wall Street, um, just out of pure randomness, I was just like, "Hey, Occupy Wall Street, it's still going." And he's like, "Yeah, a bunch of hippie, comma, communist, and gays, and all." Well, he didn't say gays. He was just bunch of gays. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was just going off about it. Like oh. he, he, you would have thought he was like some right winged, no, uh, some right wing cons ultra conservative. <laughs> You, and then I was also kind of hoping he'd be like, I'm going to go write a book called uh, Holy Terror and make it awesome. Um, How do you... Yeah, your turn, Kirk. Beat that. <laughs> well, okay. How <laughs> I was just going to say, uh, Coolio just sent a video, though. Uh, I, uh, I love Kung Pao. I love that movie. It's so funny. 
Momento. Tiger, tiger. Birdie, 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 birdie. Did media treat Bachman unfairly because she's an insane woman? I need to watch this on The Onion. I love them. You know what's going to be really awesome? When everyone hears what? this group discussion. They know they we're recording? Yep. I've been recording this for 20 minutes. Oh, fuck! How dare you! How dare you not consult that with me first? I, I demand that you take it down off the interwebs at this moment. <laughs> Come on! Take it down! I don't even remember what I said. <laughs> I was trying to think of a Christopher Walken thing to say. So Dan beat you to it. <laughs> just speaks like you. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't talk and walk anymore, because if I do, I'll get stuck. Yeah. Oh, it was so funny. Like, he was trying to talk normally, and he was talking and walking speech patterns, yeah. but in Coolio's voice, he was like, Okay, Dan, I'm ready <laughs> to record a video. It's like, Coolio. That's crazy. <laughs> it was. I didn't I'm... like it at all. Dude, Walken really must be angry. Christopher Walken's possessing you. So it's I guess I, I should stop the recording now. No, it's great. Oh, continue. I, continue. I thought I was gonna piss some people off because I better. It's better I tell you now rather than I put this on the internet and everyone hears what Dan, Dan was talking about with the Wiggle 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 song. <laughs> oh, okay. if people are gonna get mad at me for saying I hate that song. I don't give a shit. It's a fucking bad song. No, 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 a lot of people will agree with you, but I'm just saying, like, people are gonna be like, Dan just talk opened up a sentence with, talk let's talk about flopping penises. <laughs> yes, this will be on the internet. Uh, Yay. We're all, we're all men here, we're all aware that penises exist. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Why not address them every once in a while? Ew. Uh, let's... Let's talk about real steel some more. <laughs> so trailers. So real steel. <laughs> Let's make some money. Let's make some money. So yeah, I saw real steel. It was so good. Was it? Yes, it's it like robot Rocky. It's like I love it so much. I, I got so pumped. Like I was in the the live, like in the game room, and I'm watching the movie, and I want to start cheering, and I realize it's not a real match. <laughs> I was with damn. people who were cheering and like these people I was like these guys aren't gonna like this is gonna be an action movie and they were like yeah go yeah was, yeah like like that little like mini Thor was like screaming at points yeah I was <laughs> like man he's really into it this yeah. feels like a really genuine movie it feels good yeah <laughs> that's how I was kinda like I wanted to stand up and cheer when uh like uh I call him Little Mac <laughs> the robot, uh, the robot Adam. I call him Little Mac from Punch Out. I get it. Uh, you know, whenever you know, the, the match ended, I started. I wanted to start going. Bum, 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 na, 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 if he do, if he goes offline, he goes offline. We need a robot in like the sequel that goes. I must break you. Well, no, no. See, this is how it's gonna go. And the next one. <laughs> And then <laughs> no, and the next one, uh, Adam and Zeus are gonna have a rematch, and this time Adam's gonna win. And in the third one, this robot with a big old mohawk's gonna show up, and then it's, uh, Zeus is gonna be like, "I will train you," but he won't. And he'll it. kill Hugh Jackman. The, yeah, he'll <laughs> kill Hugh Jackman. It'll just be the little kid, and so he's gotta learn to fight too. And they start running on beaches, and then he beats him. <laughs> and then the fourth one, the Russian chick comes back. And she's got her own Russian robot from Russia. It's oh, all she just red. Is a It's called yeah. Dragotron. Yeah, she's a, Dude, it's yeah, called Dragotron. Yeah, she's like all robot cyborg thing. And then, you know, it, it beats out Zeus, and now Zeus is dead. And so he's got to go to Russia, and then it starts playing. Hearts on fire, strong is. Yeah, starts playing that. And then, you know, he's, he's like, and then he beats him. And then the next one, no one really liked the next one. And so then it, it then turns out it's Atrian, or there's not a female love, well, I guess that one chick from the gym, she's dead. And Aww. it's a sad movie. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, doesn't Hugh Jackman come back from the dead sometime in there, too? No. Uh, I'll have a flashback. Yes, I'll have a flashback. Some money. 
And this works because in the original, Rocky's trainer played the Penguin. So and also, now he plays Wolverine, it works. It also works, too, because if you want to bring the character back from the dead, you can just say he has a healing factor. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also the future. Yeah. Oh, man, whatever he was... Oh, well, Dan, you haven't seen it yet, have you? Nah. Okay, well, close your ears. Go la 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 So there's that scene where... Okay, I'm about to spoil it. There's a scene where he's getting, like... eyes? No. That would have been interesting. Whatever, he's like getting beat up by that that Texan guy who was like he, I was like yeah was that's the blob? that was Texan and yeah he was the blob that was weird and I was like God his teeth look familiar and <laughs> Durand is hilarious <laughs> he, was, he was getting beat up by him I was like get out the claws the claws yeah and then he started beating up his kid yeah. And then I'm like, dude, did you really have to... You, Jackman, I could understand, he kind of needed that awakening moment to be, get his ass kicked for that whole character development. But did you really have to go punch the kid? Yeah, he should have killed he him. punch the kid? Yeah. He, yeah, he hurt him. I thought he, he just, like, shoved him over. No, he no, punched he him. Like, he, like, grabbed him with a bar and, like, punched him and threw him down. And he's like, live alone! He's my son! He's like, looks like you're a little less than an inch. And then he kicked him. And then there was glorious payback when um, Hugh Jackman's friends came in and beat the shit out of him off screen. It's like, 100,000, homie. <laughs> I thought that scene where he came in with, like, for the big fight and was trying to, like, you know, start yeah. gambling money. <laughs> when he was, like, trying to talk to the black guys. Oh, that was so funny. Yeah. It's like, homeboy. <laughs> and he tries to leave, like, all right, let's start getting out of here. I'll be back. Don't worry, baby. It's like, uh, where are you going? Him again. He died. Is, is it over? Yeah, it's I over. guess. Bangers! Bangers! Robots! <laughs> this is not over! Bangers! That's what the Japanese guy needs to say. This is not over! Robots! <laughs> Apparently, the Japanese guy kind of sounds like Arnold, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> he had spiky son hair. Of a bitch. You son of a bitch. So! <laughs> Did you hear? I'm a famous comedian, Arnold Krauschneider. <laughs> 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 what was the name of the commander in that Terminator 3 scene? I can't remember his name. I'm Sergeant John Candy. I'm Sergeant John Candy. I'm so glad. Like it that John Candy, actually, but it was something candy. <laughs> oh. John Candy. <laughs> that, would be, that wouldn't be a good general at all. That it scene, would be hilarious. That, Ooh, okay, yes. Me. Terminator Three sucked. All right, let's get that out of the way. Terminator Three sucked, but that scene would have been like gone down in infamy. Howdy. We should have said howdy. Ha! I like that just as much though. I, uh, <laughs> I was like, what was I gonna say? Fuck. I I really like Terminator Three. I haven't I haven't seen Terminator Three. I like the theme song where it goes. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, let's talk like favorite movie themes. Okay. Anything from Mine too. We'll speak in movie themes. <laughs> um, anything from John Williams for me. Tomari voiceover. Yes. Hey, Nick, what's up? I'm um, doing pretty good. Oh, wait, I'm not Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a Nick. <laughs> There's no Nick here. Oh, wait, I think, he's Nick. I think he's talking to a friend on the phone. No, I am Nick. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so Nick, my, is Dan my... not here? No, he's, he's on the phone. Let's Yellow. talk shit about Dan. <laughs> okay, there's this guy we know, Dan, and he's like from 
New England or something. I don't know. And he's like, he says like coffee and, you know, he says weird things in Brooklyn accents. And he's so funny because he talks about the snow. And, yeah. Oh, what a fool. Spider Man. Everyone Who likes Spider Man. Everyone oh. likes everyone likes Aquaman. Yeah, I mean everyone likes Aquaman. Wally West, come on, man, be a bit more original. Come on, Barry Allen. Yeah, Barry Allen. I mean, he was dead forever. He's everyone's favorite. Not really. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that silence. It's like it's just a silence. And, I hate that. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, hey, I don't hate you. I love you. Sorry, oh, my, oh, my my friend was uh, kind of inebriated, and he called me on the phone. Oh, my so. best buddy yeah. in the whole world is back. <laughs> oh, we love you. Sorry about that interruption. <laughs> no, it's fine. Was it was it just I like? Love Dan. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about how great your hair looks. You can see my hair. That's weird. <laughs> Shut up. Just accept it. I can see what your hair looks because I know you. Because I know. Uh, wait, no, I don't. Never mind. I just think. That, that I just guy? imagine. You know when you can compliment my hair, when we all go to Comic Con and meet each other. Yes. Yeah. This is there's that idea again. Considering I live in California, it's now possible. Yeah. <laughs> Dan and I were talking. It's like can't say no. Dan and I were talking about this idea. And we had some really good ideas, like, the first one, but we threw this out, was all crashing at your place, Kirk. <laughs> you are more than welcome to. Yeah, you can't say no. I, I so, wouldn't say no. We, we it could doesn't actually matter if you would say in no. person with each other. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I call oh, Top Bunk. So cool. By the way, even if you don't have them, we're building bunks when we get there. Okay, we can visit <laughs> Ikea. Yay! Yay, Ikea! They got... No, better, y- better yet, uh, better yet, Anthony... We build a fort made out of bed sheets. Oh my god. Yeah, that sounds that sounds awesome, but I love IKEA. I love going there and buying shelves. I went to I IKEA once. You know, I went to IKEA. Not it's just a big Walmart. It's just a really big Walmart to me. What? I no. disagree. IKEA here is great. Well, what is IKEA? Nice. What? What's IKEA? I have no <gasps> idea what this is. <laughs> Blasphemy. They Ikea? don't have those up here. It's a <laughs> wonderful place. Well, Ikea, the, well, I guess the Ikea I've been to just kind of sucks, but maybe the ones you went to are just uber fantastic, and I just got the crap one. Yeah, we, we got I a great Ikea. I like, look at Ikea forever. It's awesome. It's so great. See, I, I go there and buy, I buy a shell. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. What's Ikea? <laughs> okay, Ikea is a wonderful place. I go there to buy shelves because I buy toys a lot, so I run out of space real quick. And so what I ask for my birthday and Christmas? Shelves. You can buy a lot of furniture and shit you yes. need. And, yes. like, redecorate your room or your kitchen or, you know, yeah. anything. It's that's, that's what it is. It's, like, the best furniture store ever. And they also have really it's awesome, cool. um, like, uh, cinnamon buns. I remember someone was giving out cinnamon buns. I was like, ooh, yes. But yeah, they they have a. Full I kind of wish they had those up here because the closest thing we have to that is like a, like a a furniture store that's like five minutes down the road from me, and it's like really sketchy, and it's in like some old rundown warehouse, and the guy like sounds like he smokes cigarettes for like thirty years. He's like, hey, you want to buy some furniture? Like, <laughs> hey, that you want to buy some? Want to buy some furniture? Yeah. Want to buy some death sticks? <laughs> you want to sell me death sticks? But you do want to sell me furniture? I want to sell you furniture. What was that? What was that singing going on, Kirk? Oh, it was it was, it was uh, um, he, okay. You guys probably don't know him. He's a YouTuber named Alex Farnham. He uh, he is under the username Dan. It's good one eight oh eight, and uh, he's really funny. And he did he did like a, a he did a, a song for the Thorn trailer, and it was just talking about you know Natalie Portman. And she's been in like you know Star Wars, and she used to rock her hair in a cinnabon. <laughs> That's what I heard. So wait, so wait, let me back this up. So wait, let me back this up. You suddenly thought of a of a song on a YouTube video for me just saying cinnabons, and you're just thinking of a person's hairstyle in a movie that people don't really acknowledge. 
I can live with that. I know you would not. I know you were talking about the food. So I know. I was just. I was just thinking. I could live with that. That was funny. All I heard was they say that, but I was like, it sounded hilarious. Speaking of Natalie Portman, have you ever seen her rap? Yes. Yes. I don't it's sleep so motherfucker off awesome. the yak while I'm dirty. Wait. Doing 120, getting head while I'm swerving. Damn, Natalie, <laughs> you a crazy <laughs> chick. Wait. 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 What? What the hell, man? Um. Uh, <laughs> where did the Natalie Portman rap come from? I'm we were just talking about Natalie like, Portman, weren't we? Do you want NBC or not? Na- what well, you I... want, Natalie? To drink and fight? What you need, Natalie? To fuck all night? Right. <laughs> Put my foot down your throat with the shits in my shoe. We just screaming. Pay for all my front track cleaning. What it's song like, is man, this? That is screaming. It's Natalie Portman. <laughs> She's rapping. Oh. Uh. Uh, okay, send me the link. I want to see this now. When I was uh, I smoked it every day. I have a badass beard. Hell yeah. And I always pay for your dry cleaning when my shit gets in your shoe. The link is there. Okay, I looking at it now. It's scared of you. Uh, <laughs> I love Natalie Cole. No, it's so funny. Okay, let's like, see. That kid is dressed up as uh, Queen Amidala, and she just like smacks the paper out of her hand. Yeah. <laughs> the kids look it up at me, can suck my dick. It's boiler's motherfucker. Drink till I'm sick. <laughs> my parents are in the other room. I'm scared. They're gonna yell at me. They're like, why aren't you doing homework? I'm like, shut up. <laughs> why are you singing about sucking dicks? <laughs> Because that report looks like it. There's nothing like 12 from 7 to 10. He's a hottest rapper. Yeah. And he's being like When I was in Hubba, I smoked weed every day. I cheated every test. I snorted all the yay. You got a damn posse. You got a bunch of dudes. I sit right down on your face and take a shit. This is kind of just weird. I used to listen to that song a lot in like ninth grade. <laughs> I love most things that I bought on the island. So yeah. yeah, ninth grade was my lonely island phase, yeah. and so I was I was really into that. Man, the first time I watched *Visit My Parents*, I could not. I was on the floor laughing. I, I, I could not believe it was that funny. Yeah, uh, I just watched it. I'm like, this is kind of weird. Yeah. Good sport. Yeah, tell me. I mean, not every actress would be like, yeah, sure. Joke about me like smoking weed and like sucking dick. And having one. <laughs> or having a dick. <laughs> That's more accurate. Yeah, and someone who has that kind of caliber of acting despite the, <laughs> despite the <laughs> three movies. Their careers and stuff. Yeah. Sorry, what'd you say? It sounded like everyone just spoke at once. No, we we tend to do that. <laughs> we tend to do that a lot of these videos. Are you still in, are you still recording, Tyler? I hope I am. Oh Jesus. I check that. <laughs> yeah, I still am. It's still going. It's still going. Go, go, go. Are you sure you press record this time? Yes, I pre- press record, Dan. I mean Anthony. I mean okay. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta tell uh, Dan this. Uh yeah. yeah. Okay, so we were, like, recording this video. It was, like, half an hour long, talking about Transformers Armada. We were, it was really good, you know? And then at the very end, Deadpoolzilla goes, Oh, my God. I forgot to press record. <laughs> I done goofed. And I'm like, You son of a bitch. And so... <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> so I was like, You know what? Gotta go. Ate some dinner, watch Real Steel. I'm in a better mood now, so. Yeah, you were just like, into the boat! <laughs> <laughs> into the job, Yeah, I had some really good pizza. Well, I had, uh, well, yeah, I had uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. Ha! Huh. I had uh, nothing. Well, too bad. Yeah. I had a boy A boy Yeah. Sounds Jewish. 
Dude, that was my oh. thought too. Like, yeah. God, it's like it. You know, it's like gonna kill you in five years. But God damn, are those burgers awesome? I yeah, because like I've been somewhat into fitness since moving here, and like I try and go to the gym every day, and yeah. then it was like five guys. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I love it. It's it, dude. That is Weight Watchers' worst enemy. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna get some hate for this, but uh. There's better burgers in Texas, so... You yeah. best take that back, boy. <laughs> no, I won't, because I've, I've had better burgers. Well, yeah. we're here in not Texas. We don't have any other options. <laughs> yeah. When you've been from Australia, well, burgers are good, but, like, there's no five guys. Yeah. Well, we, been, we, yes, we got the, burger. Come for come the edge, dude. This. Dude, stay... Are fries better? In Australia? Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say yeah. Uh, like, I don't know. Are good as all hell. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. I like. I'm very. I, I like. I, I like fries. Uh, Kirk, if for you yes. it was like, stay, it was like, come for uh, the acting school, stay for Five Guys. That was basically your mindset. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I was like, I am going to do my darndest to get a, uh, a working visa so I can stay here and eat five guys. <laughs> what did As you say darndest? That sounded. Why did you say darndest? Darndest? Darndest, what does that mean? He suddenly he realizes that, we're, that I request... Sounds like censored. It's weird. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I don't... I don't normally yeah, swear, like... but when I do, I swear about Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I'm here singing about Natalie Portman having a penis, and <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be right back. It sounds like there's a female in my apartment. I'm need to, so <laughs> you, I need to check this out. I'll be back. <laughs> if it's Natalie Portman, tell me. Okay, it is isn't it? It is. <laughs> God, I do give a damn. Oh God, I am about. This is. This is terrific. I love the mask. It's such a good movie. <laughs> it I'm is. Just watching the scene where he's just like accepting the Oscar and he's just like, oh, Scarlet, I do give a damn. Yeah. <laughs> so great. The, the mask, so stupid, yeah, it's RT. awesome. Um, what else? What else was another good scene in there? Uh, like when he's everything. Huh, yeah, everything. Of course. What's a specific <laughs> good one? Like, uh, like when he he gets kicked in the junk, he's like, she is so coy. I love it. <laughs> I love when they're about to arrest me. Just like, no, it wasn't me. He was the one out man. Chick chicken boom, chick chicken boom, chick chicken boom. Oh, I wanted to ask you this. Uh, sorry. What? Oh, did you guys know that there was a cro there was in the mask animated series? There was a crossover with uh, Ace Ventura. That's yes. Amazing. Why haven't I seen this? Cuz. Oh, uh, speaking of Ace Ventura at Walmart today, I saw a three pack of Ace Ventura movies. And I almost bought it until I saw that like Ace Ventura, the like not Jim Carrey one with the little kid, was on the disc. I was like, uh... <laughs> no, I'd throw that piece. Of sh <laughs> I, dude, I'd throw that piece of shit out and just keep the other two movies. They're all on the same disc, that's the thing. Oh man. I feel like it's, like it's like it's just stained by like the image of the first two movies is stained forever by that little punk ass kid movie. Yep. Well I don't know, the the last one, it's a bad movie. But I give the props, he does a pretty decent Jim Carrey impression. For what it is. It's a bad movie altogether, but the kid tries. Kirk is back, I think. Damn, well, I was good job, man. Dan. <laughs> You're, ain't you just a motherfucking detective, Dan? How'd, you, how'd you know? I heard the rustling of the mic. Oh. Yes, yeah. well, but anyways, how was Natalie Portman? 
Oh, she was great. Just, uh, <laughs> did, she had a penis. Well, I, I can overlook that. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of just, like, closed your eyes and, like, yeah, it'll work. <laughs> I don't want to keep talking about this further. It's going to get to a weird place, so... <laughs> Too late. How um, disappointed would you be? <laughs> uh, Natalie I, Portman? Yeah, that would be very disappointing. Yeah. I uh, I used to see that poster. What was that bad movie she was in with? Uh, the, oh, what's his name? Star Wars? Sure. No. <laughs> not that bad movie. Uh, no strings Hunter. attached or something? Yeah, it was like the oh, other one, yeah. not Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis. Yeah, yeah. That, there was like posters for that everywhere at every train station and stuff, and I used to catch the train to work. Yeah. And just like, I don't know, her legs in that poster. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh my! Oh. <laughs> yeah, the weird thing about that movie too was they came out with a movie that's like almost the same exact thing as that with Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis like six yeah. months later. Yeah, no, like, yeah. And it was, was um, weird. the other thing is that it's kind of like how they have two of the same movie this year, that Snow White movie. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, except one's exactly. going to be vastly superior. Yeah. I wonder which one. It could be. one I can tell you which, dude, dude. Yeah, I can one tell one. you which one's going to be the better one, Coolio. Uh, Dark Knight bear, Rises. Bear. Dark Knight Rises, that's the one. How is Dark Knight Rises going to be better than Mirror Mirror? Wait that's a minute. That's a lie. Man. Wait. Snow White is in Dark Knight Rises? She sure is. Snow White uh, and the... Joey uh, King confirmed it. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. Sir, no, I'm not playing Talia al Ghul, I'm playing Snow White. <laughs> Sir, Chris Nolan's like, that'll throw them all off. <laughs> He's rubbing Snow. his chin. Yeah. We later found out that Joey King's car exploded out, out of uh, out of the damage we found burn Joker cards with note with the words CN on it. Uh, it's, it's 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 now called Snow White in the League of Assassins. <laughs> uh, Christian Bale is Snow White. Oh my God, that sounds pretty that decent. Sounds terrible. <laughs> that sounds decent. He's That's a method a, actor. He pulled off. Yeah, fuck his method acting bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> oh, oh, hold on! <laughs> I'll tell you, insult the noble method actors of the world. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's just like my favorite line from Two Best Friends. Whenever they're playing, Two Best Friends play Arkham City. And they try to do. It's like towards the end of the video, they're still doing the Christian Bale voice, and he's, they start coughing. It's like, how does he do that? I don't know. Fuck his method acting bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I wouldn't call Christian Bale quite a method actor. If he was a method actor, he'd be running around as Batman <laughs> in like some, you know, in, in you know Wales, where he wherever he lives. Yeah. He um, lives in Wales. Well, he's from Wales. I think he lives in L.A. But. Uh, oh, he doesn't live in the mammal. He lives in the the country. <laughs> No, uh, no, Anthony. Yeah, yeah exact, exactly, Coolio. He lives inside a whale. Well, no. It, what? I'm falling. You're falling. Whale. It just falls on the waterfall. That was so funny. But uh, Snow White and the Huntsman, that looks pretty good. It does, yeah. Even with yeah. the stupid um, Twilight chick. Yeah. Yeah. I liked Panic Room. I liked Panic Room as well, but she was once a good actress. Yeah, yeah she was. You know what another good, good movie Stewart was in? Uh, the Runaways. Yeah, she, I didn't, yeah, yeah. I didn't like Runaways. Then you can go to hell. It wasn't. No, it wasn't historically accurate at all. Oh, okay. Yeah. It wasn't. I know that from a the fan. Most of those movies aren't though, like historic yeah. movies that are made by Hollywood. Yeah, so that that was stupid. <laughs> yeah, it was actually based off the. It was more or less based off the book of uh, that was written by the lead singer. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Doesn't change anything. Anyways, yeah. Hey, I, I guessed it correct. I went on Wikipedia with Christian Bale. That sounds like a show. Anyway, um, <laughs> since 1992, Los Angeles. I should hunt him down. You should invite him over in a call. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. If we interviewed Christian Bale, all hell would break us. <laughs> like you should have seen it when, like, um. Well, the fighter was filmed, like, 15 minutes from where I live. Yeah. So, 
when they were in town, like, filming it and stuff, mm-hmm. like, everyone was, like, freaking out. They're like, Christian Bale is near us! Oh, my God. <laughs> and then it was, like, a whisper, in Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. <laughs> and that man was com- immediately beaten to death. <laughs> <laughs> Good vibrations! <laughs> it's funny, because Christian Bale's latest movie was also filmed 15 minutes from my place. Ooh. Some scenes, anyway. <laughs> that would be the Dark Knight Prizes, but... That's yeah. awesome. I, Did you, like, see filming, filming going on? No, <laughs> no, I didn't, because it was downtown Hollywood. I was like, screw that shit, I'm... <laughs> Yeah. In the Hollywood. Mm. I live on the other side of the Hollywood Hills, so I mean, it's not that far, but I just don't like Hollywood. I yeah. have been to the town where they filmed the Truman Show. That's cool. I've been that on. That was awesome. I've Christian been... Bale's not in that movie. I no, been... he wasn't, but it was cool. <laughs> Your Actually, point he is was. Matter, sir. Actually, um... he was. He played Jim Carrey. Uh, <laughs> I was at the scenes where they made the Thomas Jane Punisher movie. Nice. Uh, How was it? It was good. Granted that when I saw the when I saw the sets, the place where they shot the movie, it would been like what? I was there at two thousand eight, so four years ago, and it still looks awesome. Nice. You know, uh, Kevin Nash, the wrestler who plays the Russian in that movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He used to be my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. For for like a, for like a couple of weeks. Um, in the current apartment building I'm in. Um, like I lived, uh, I live in a different apartment now. But down, I lived in another apartment downstairs. And uh, this one day, I walk out, and then this gigantic man is walking towards the door next to mine. And I'm like, like, "Oh, dear God, a big mug!" <laughs> I was like, "That looks like Kevin Nash." And he gets closer, and I'm, I'm looking at him, and I can't just pretend I'm not. I was like, "Hi, good morning," and he was like. Good morning. <laughs> I was like, the fuck it was Kevin Nash. <laughs> <laughs> you do awesome. realize that people are now going when they when this video gets out, people are now going to be like, What's Kevin Nash like? <laughs> I don't know, I didn't talk to him, but I don't know. As a wrestling fan it was cool. Because he was still with the WWE at the time as well. Ah, that's cool. This was only this year. Or last year, rather. So yeah. I think I, what were you saying? I said celebrities. Oh, okay. I think Andy Serkis should play in Real Steel 2. <laughs> he should be every robot. I like Andy Serkis. Hey, yes. um, you know who should else join in our camaraderie? I love that word. <laughs> Duke. Ooh. My ass. No, it's already here. And it, and it's a real jerk, Anthony. What are you talking about? You're I right. am so confused right now. What you, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm just saying words. I'm always confused. Well, you know what? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll tell the story after you're done. Okay. Um, we should get Duke in here. He's away right now. I'm talking to him right now. Sw- yeah, yeah. Well, I'm talking to him right now on Skype. Oh, you can ask if he wants to join. That changes everything. Yeah. <laughs> suck on that logic. Every... Ew. No, I will not <laughs> suck on Natalie Portman's logic. <laughs> I will not suck on anything, okay? I, know I will not suck. suck. <laughs> <laughs> My goal in life is to not suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, what was I saying? I don't know. Oh. But me and my friends at school, we were talking about, I think, and then my friend, like, dropped his desk on his foot. I don't know how it happened. Don't ask me. But <laughs> he dropped it on his foot. And so I just yelled out, he hurt himself in confusion. <laughs> and everyone laughed. And I was like, <laughs> another point for me. Pokemon reference for the win. Uh, I'm like, Steven, you, you're you just a metapod. You can harden, but you can't do shit with it. <laughs> Ooh. And he got upset. And he was like, <laughs> he started crying. Oh, really? He was like, <laughs> and started crying. <laughs> uh, I like making fun of Steven. It's third of them. Yeah, someone today said, I can't remember what, but something in the same way you guys were talking like Adam West in the Q&A 
like the brass nipples thing. <laughs> Catch Catch woman. <laughs> Catch woman. <laughs> I started doing the same, and everyone's like, the hell are you talking like that for? <laughs> Adam West. <laughs> it's about to reach a climax. Miss Kitka. <laughs> Miss Kitka. <laughs> Miss Kitka. Oh, Miss Kitka. <laughs> I love that movie where he, like, it's so obvious, like, that they played up like he falls in love with her like on site like to be a joke but like I was watching it with my friends and they're like that would never happen I'm like that's the point they're making they're making a funny here <laughs> they're making a funny that couldn't happen that but like you know the bat repellent shark spray I mean the shark repellent bat spray <laughs> the bat repellent shark spray <laughs> shark man uses it it's like next time Batman comes in the water, the sharks all like come up and start spraying him. Batman just has a seizure. <laughs> the street sharks use it against bats. Uh, my, they my question was, why doesn't he have a repellent for everything? Like, Robin, hand me down the Joker repellent bat spray. That's yeah. actually a good question. <laughs> but, uh... Then we wouldn't have an ep- Then again, we wouldn't have an episode... Why can't we have like a like an instant rust spray? Yeah. Oh, no. Get rid of that bomb. Yeah. <laughs> the bomb. Yeah. Oh the my bomb. god, could you imagine Ar- like a uh, uh Adam West Batman Arkham Asylum? Yes. Oh god. That, that should be I an know. unlockable costume. Yeah, it should be. <laughs> it should it, have it, an unlockable you, voice. You should be able to like yeah. run like him too. Yeah. I've always said like maybe Adam West should play to- um, play Thomas Wayne. That would be um, cool. Mm. He should make an appearance as the Grey Ghost. <laughs> I I think he could probably play like you know Bat like Bruce Wayne in uh, a uh, Batman Beyond film. I think he still has it in him. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck Clint Eastwood. I want Adam West. Or I love it. Clint Eastwood and he'd be perfect, but he's not making movies anymore. So, yeah. I mean, he's not in movies anymore. Still yeah. make them. He's good ones. Yes. yes. I liked J. Edgar. It's, <laughs> I haven't seen that. I want to see it. it looks it's kind really of like good. how I want like my personal fan cast like Stephen Lang as Cable. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to see it. I'd it's love good. to see Stephen Lang as Cable. I want to see it. J. Edgar. <laughs> J. Edgar, <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> that, that's gonna be I guess that's my new thing is not do Christopher Walken impressions. Just talk Christopher Walken. <laughs> You know, there's yeah, this new like, movie out. <laughs> it's called J. Edgar. It's called J. Edgar. You know, it's pretty good. I haven't seen it, but you know. Good night, moon. <laughs> That's my favorite <laughs> part. Good night, moon. <laughs> Gather round, children. Don't make me say it again. <laughs> just, just press main menu on the remote. <laughs> <laughs> no, on the menu at Red Lobster. Yes, the remote. <laughs> yes, that is my favorite line in that movie. <laughs> the menu at Red Lobster. <laughs> Even though, yes, that movie, the one you're talking about with Adam um, Adam Sandler and the all-controlling remote. Yeah. Nick. Yeah, click. Yes. That movie was just kind of dumb. That was so... It was sad, like, the first time I watched it. Yeah, like, me too. I'm really damn it was, It's so funny I watched it. I was like, yeah. oh my god, everyone's dying. And then, then it all of a sudden, like, here's a twist. He's like, he's not an inventor at all. He's he's the Grim Reaper. Oh. I, I actually loved that movie, I'm gonna say. Yeah, oh, it's sad. The way everyone dies, like that. Like his dad has that coin trick. Yeah, yeah, Henry Winkler. Like, that scene where he sees, you know, how he spoke to his dad. Uh, I was like, oh. Hard so, so, so sad. His dog died. No more hump in the dark. <laughs> it's it's kind of sad how like Adam Sandler's career that was Adam way. Sandler's career. It's like Adam was, Sandler's career has went way downhill since. Yeah, has. I don't even mention anything came out in 2011 because nothing did. You mean Jack oh, and Jill? no, nothing came out. <laughs> I forgot about Jack. And no, it, I was nothing thinking came about out. that bad mix with all those comedians. Nothing came out. You mean Grown Ups? Yeah. That's I, I left. That was a good movie. Grown Ups was good. I mean, it wasn't like awesomely funny, but and or you know, kind of like Hangover or some shit. But I got some, I got some laughs out of there. I walked out of yeah. there. I walked See, out of there content. It's the thing I have with. The, I mean, first of all, I I personally don't care that much for Hangover. But like, the thing is, with that many comedians, I feel like Grown Ups should have been 
extremely funny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it's it's because you know it was just kind of thrown together at the last minute, and they're like, oh, this this fat character, we need another one. Hey, Kevin James, we work right. together. Right? Is Kevin is Kevin James ever funny? Because everything I've seen him in, he's not funny. Yeah. King of Queens. Well, I haven't seen a lot of King of Queens. I know that like every movie I've seen him in, I'm like, ugh, I don't really care for you. Yeah, it was, Jack he Black was funny is funny. King of Queens. Yeah, Jack Black is funnier than you, and his career has really hit the shitter. It was oh, Jack Black was, was hilarious in Muppets. In Muppets. Oh, it's so it good was funny in Muppets. Muppets. <laughs> Wait, who was Jack... Other Jack Black's in the Muppets? Yeah, he's yes. the, he's the guy who he's shot the out of the cannon. I haven't seen the Muppets. Yeah, he was in Anger Managed there with Animal. So funny. Um, okay. The other thing was that I think my all-time favorite movie from him is Pick of Destiny. I have never seen that. You yeah, haven't seen any of the Tenacious D stuff either. I've been told to watch it, like, all, like a few years back, and I'm like, you gotta watch this, and I'm like... <sighs> I love when he, like, talks to the Dio poster on the wall, yeah. and they sing together. Dio, awesome. can you hear me? I'm lost and so alone. <laughs> I was I was so sad when Dio died and like that got no coverage whatsoever. Yeah. Like I didn't even know what happened until a couple days after. I was like, what? Dio died? Yeah, my mom was telling me like, oh yeah, Dio died. I'm like, you're joking. No, Tyler, I'm not joking. Like she said it like after I was like, you're joking, and I was like, I couldn't believe it. And then she just snapped at me. <laughs> like, no, no, here's the best part. She was like, no, Tyler, I'm not joking. He's dead. <laughs> Like, fine. <laughs> you killed him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I felt like after the, after the talk. He's dead. Dun 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 have you seen the music video for that? It's hilarious. Yeah, it it, it makes no <laughs> goddamn sense. I know, like, there's just, like, random medieval stuff happening. It's like Do you know what I've always compared effects. Dio's music to? Music you listen to in the background of playing Dungeons & Dragons. Exactly. I've never played Dungeons & Dragons. I never... My friend got oh. a set for Christmas and he wants me to play with him, but I've never played it. I've never... It's, it seems too stereotypical for me. Well, with me, it's like, um, I've never had an interest in playing Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, I've thought about it, but then, like, it just sounds too complicated. Yeah, like, right, I don't know. Like, I saw that, that episode of Regular Show where they have had, like, a Dungeons and Dragons game. That was pretty funny. Yeah. I'm surprised you still haven't watched Adventure Time, by the way. I don't, don't like that show. It's just not my thing. I don't like it. It's, no, it's not my thing. <laughs> I, I've I've been told I would like that show, but so have I, and I don't. It's fun, <laughs> fun, fun. No, it's not. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> ah, I, ow, I, I, I'm... <laughs> God, I'm in so much pain right now. No, no, no. <laughs> I know how I felt during the Q and A with my back. <laughs> I haven't told you guys this. I've got a torn hamstring. Oh my god. And, um, I just right. sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel my freaking legs. Chris Evans, what you done? <laughs> like, what you did to poor Shades. <laughs> Was it like, uh, were you like rolling on the ground, just like, uh, making stuff? <laughs> I'm lying on my bed, but now I can't move. <laughs> Well, I would call 911, but it would be a long... Oh, I just moved. I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh, well... Your we, suffering is amusing. I really hope we don't have to put, like, a... Like a memorial thing at the end of this video. <laughs> he died of a torn hamstring. <laughs> it would be weird. This is, still, this is still recording? We're gonna, we're gonna use that, uh... That picture of you that reminds me of... Michael Shannon is General Zod. <laughs> <laughs> Feel sorry for him, he died. It's evil. <laughs> the one picture where you're not smiling and you're wearing it's a jerk from the planet Krypton. 
I chose that. I actually didn't choose that photo as my as my profile picture for that. They, the people did, and I'm glad because I look like an evil bastard. You do. You can shoot laser beams out of your eyes, but don't trust Superman. He tells you that he's going to get rid of his powers because he's not. He's just going to reverse it. Yeah. He's no. You're going to be like uh, Neil before Kirk. Neil. Who is you Superman? Are... Who is this Superman? Oh, it's that other guy. Superman, I defy you. Neil, Neil before shades. Oh, uh, <laughs> get Gene Hackman to show up. <laughs> and get hit by a car. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Stop laughing about that. That is terrible. <laughs> oh, my side. <laughs> oh, great, I'm gonna die too. I'm the greatest criminal mastermind in Hong Kong. Boom. No, great. I can't that. Stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> this is hurting me. Ow. <laughs> 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 Another funny fo photo from when I was your age. I was raising Pokemon, not babies. <laughs> I have seen that photo. That was good. Darth Vader, you lose your son. Would you like to confirm? <laughs> Ugh. In okay. the middle of the night, I go walking in my sleep. Mm. That doesn't sound safe at all. What if deja vu meant that if you lost a life and and restarted at the last checkpoint? I wish that were true. <laughs> if you Are you looking at you looking at conspiracy uh, Keanu Reeves memes? Yeah. <laughs> you poop in your dreams. You poop for real. <laughs> Conspiracy Keanu. Uh, his face in that picture is priceless. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I like Bill and Ted. Sucks for that? them. Sucks for them. <laughs> <laughs> what if everyone is actually high and weed makes you sober? <laughs> uh, what if well, oxygen makes our voices deeper and helium brings it back to normal? <laughs> that's pretty funny. I like that one. Uh, it's just so stupid. Have you seen the aliens one, like from that History Channel show with with the guy with the crazy hairdo? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so great. <laughs> oh, I just love it. Just look at this and try not to laugh. <laughs> you can't explain that. <laughs> this one next to it says, I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. <laughs> I don't know, therefore aliens. <laughs> Do you know what the T stands for in Model T? Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that's, a, that's not true. <laughs> well, <no. laughs> I'm not sure if it was aliens, but it was aliens. Uh, I thought the Model T standed for Tristan. I don't know. Yeah, I think it stands for Tristan Taylor. <coughs> I'll ask my dad. He's a car aficionado. It stands for Tristan Timothy Taylor. <laughs> uh. So, trailers. <laughs> well, uh, apparently... Uh, Shades was writhing in pain after making a joke about Gene, Gene Hackman being hit by a car. Yeah, it's so funny. I couldn't say it. <laughs> oh. Are people going to listen to this? I hope. No. Oh. <laughs> Why? Oh boy. No, forget that clip of Mario. No. <laughs> no. Did you bring Did a you light? Light. <laughs> no. He's got. Uh, it's balded. When, when I eventually, when I eventually make another one of those Luigi Mario show videos, I'm going to incorporate though that somehow. Cause please do more. You need to do more. It's so funny. 
I'm glad you liked it, because it took me so long to edit that. Like, you don't even imagine. I can. <laughs> I love that picture. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what's the picture? The one Shades just posted on the... Uh, <laughs> <on, laughs> I was kind of hoping for someone just saying, Problem? <laughs> oh, Tyler. I what? found that uh, that honey badger thing. What that means? Uh, Takes what it wants. Do you want to uh, know what it is? Yeah, I figured it out last. N I figured it out. Yeah, honey badgers don't care. Honey badger do what he want. Yeah, have you seen the video? Yeah. Oh, okay. The crazy nasty ass honey badger. <laughs> he like eats a cobra. It's like, jeez. <laughs> honey badger just takes what it wants. My friend was trying to get me to watch that Honey Badger video while he was drunk. And I was just like, watch this, this is really funny. <laughs> we were watching it for like half an hour. I'm like, I get it, but I want to go to bed. To be fair, that's how all videos start, how all videos are, you know, seen throughout the internet. When that someone's half drunk. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I get my fan base. <laughs> this trailer looks real. <laughs> sure, it looks real. Where'd I put that jack? That's how I found you. <laughs> That's how I found your trailers. <laughs> Wait, you typed in what? No, no, no. I typed. Uh, no, no, no. I was looking for the trailers while I was drinking a bottle of Jack. Ah, well. So quite literally, yes. That's how you get your subscribers. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. I am thirsty. I'm gonna go get a drink. I'll be right back. Uh, I want to get. Bitch about Dan again. <laughs> we should. So so Dan. He's always like, yeah, I'm I'm Dan. I'm all that. And uh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> that, this is why it's gotta be posted on YouTube. This. <laughs> Conversation, so we can hear what we said. <laughs> <laughs> Who said shut up? That was before that thing. That was Tyler. Okay. No, 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 that was me. that wasn't me. Oh, was that, it was that actually Dan. <laughs> he was still listening. Oh no! <laughs> abort mission. Abort mission. Well, he's just he's just jealous of my Super Saiyan swagger. I hate Dan. I hate him too. He's so damn. He's so damn Danny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at his ridiculous hair and that. Why are you talking about his hair. <laughs> I don't know, but it's true. Whatever happens, the dude abides. Yeah. So um, he he doesn't even. Like no, what, what? What? I got mad at him for not seeing a movie. I don't know what it was. I think someone's at my door. <laughs> Shades, we should talk bad about. <laughs> Once he leaves, we should talk bad about Coolio. Yes. Someone's at my door. Who could it be yes. now? Do 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 do. Uh, my door's open. Hey, don't like Dan. it. Hello. Hey, there Hello. he is. Hey. Hey, you. I like your hair. <laughs> Thanks. Guys, I just found, like, uh... Shit. Where's that picture? Good thing I just shaved my head. <laughs> <laughs> now a car's going to hit you. Oh my god, stop joking about that. <sighs> you made okay. it funny. It's not my oh. fault. Alright, uh... I gotta go, guys. I got work tomorrow, so I gotta go to bed and whatnot. Oh, uh, then what's oh. the point of recording the rest of this video without you? Sleep is <laughs> fucking bitch <laughs> about him. <laughs> I swear to God, if I click on the video and you're tell it, talking about me, you're all gonna die. Quick, let's try it anyway. <laughs> I'm not. I, you know, when we all go to Comic Con, you you're gonna die. Consequences will never be the same. So, yeah. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.
and uh, for all my viewers listening on this channel, good night. Bye. And God bless. That's yes. a bitch about Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, oh my god, Anthony was like, I can't think of anything. <laughs> I was trying to channel my inner teen mom, but you're not. I was watching that today at my friend's house. Why were you watching well, that to begin? Why were you we watching were playing that? Playing pool in the basement, and he's like, "Let's watch MTV." I'm like, "No." He's like, "This is my house." It's like, "All right, fine." So we put it on the TV, and it was MTV, and it was Teen Mom, and it was like. I got knocked up when I was 16. Uh, rah, 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 drama, bullshit, reality TV. And it wasn't fun to watch. Yeah, it was I terrible. can imagine it wouldn't be. Yeah. Considering I live in the, get this, I live in the highest, uh, the town I live in has the highest rate of teen pregnancy in the state of Florida. Damn. Wow. That's not good. Oh, and here's the worst part of it. When we lost our rank for the year for the month uh, to a to a rival county. Keep in mind, this other county we are for apparently our two counties hate each other. I don't keep up with you know the whole rivalries and whatnot. They got pissed, and about thirty other girls got pregnant in one day. Wait, that but that's not like a crowning achievement. They treat it like it is. Huzzah! Huzzah for <laughs> for debauchery. God, I need to get out of this town. Well, but, uh, I guess... That, that's just kind of weird. I don't... Anyone would bring that on themselves just to hold a record. That's kind of stupid. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Man. It's crazy. Yeah. I miss all. I think. I think Anthony took all the energy when he left. Oh. I'm yes. awake. Huh? I'm in pain. Because <laughs> the pain is keeping you awake. I'm physically here. <laughs> Mentally, you're somewhere else. Yes. Exactly. Hmm. So, trailers, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Are there any new trailers that of, of note that we should talk about? Well, if you go to IMDb, you know how it's got trailers there on the homepage now? Uh, no. Oh, well, if you go to IMDb, it'll have, like, three trailers, like, brand new trailers that have just come out sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And two of them have Guy Pierce. And one of them has... Nicholas Cage, it's awesome. Well, that, the story in one with Nicholas Cage has Guy Pearce. <laughs> seeking justice, more like seeking a better film. Oh wait, that's never going to happen. Dun dun dun. Yeah, I mean, he's... Yeah, he's, uh... Not, not very good. <laughs> uh, Nicholas Cage, you are a funny man. Oh, how I hate you, Nicholas Cage. Oh, great. I don't think... He's just, like, so bad that he's entertaining. I don't think I can hate him. Granted, I'm not a Ghost Rider fan, so that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I was a Ghost Rider fan, I'd probably hate him, because from what I've heard, he doesn't... Those movies aren't anything like what the character's supposed to be. Okay, seriously, I'm watching Adam West Batman. Catwoman throws a cat at Batman. A can? No, a cat. Oh, <laughs> it's even better. Cool. Yeah, like, here, Batman, catch my pussy. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't even have the way to say that. <laughs> that would be awesome. At ba at you know what oh, wait, go ahead, Dan. I watched Inspector Gadget the movie today. Yay! It was terrible. <laughs> Have you ever seen it? Yeah, I've seen it in the cinema. I haven't seen it since. Oh, man. Matthew Broderick. Uh, his performance is just not good at all. Yeah. There was a bunch of things. I remember when I first saw a poster for that movie, and I was like, wait a second. Claw is on the poster? 
<laughs> you can't see his face in the show. Yeah. Um, yeah, that that was strange. I haven't seen that movie in forever, though. Like, yeah, I I refuse not to watch that movie. Well, I refuse so to watch, watch that. I mean, I, no, I mean, I refuse to watch that movie, Brain Fart. <laughs> I refuse not to watch that movie. I watch it all the time. <laughs> yeah, Brain Fart on my head. No, I, I fucking hate that movie. Yeah, it's, it's just weird, like... Don't worry, Penny, I'm on the case. <laughs> I'm always on duty. That's the thing, Don Adams was so damn good. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, it's always weird when they try to make, like, old cartoons into movies and they, like, try to do the same thing but in live action. And, like, Scooby-Doo had the same problem. Yeah. Yeah. Gero-Gero? Scooby- Gero-Gero Gadget Racket Boots. Yes. Oh, sorry. I was... I used to do Inspector Gadget voice impersonation and I was really good at it. Now I just suck. <laughs> that sounded pretty good. I forgot Michelle Trachtenberg was in the movie. She must have been, like, really, really young. Yeah. Here's my question about the Inspector Gadget live-action movie. They give an idiot cop all these powers when you had the opportunity to give a very competent person these these gadgets. I mean, yeah, I know Gadget was pretty much an idiot in the show, but he had some sense. With Matthew, Matthew Broderick's uh, Inspector Gadget, he was just straight-up clueless. In the cartoon, he was pretty clueless, too. Like, Penny solved everything. Well, yeah, yeah, but... The other thing was that Inspector Gadget was funny. Broderick was not. Yeah, that's... That was what was missing. The movie was not funny at all. (laughs) Yeah. And Penny solving everything. And the the actress who played Penny sucked. That's what I was saying. Michelle Trachtenberg. I I really like her today. I don't know what she was like in that movie, but, I mean, I think she's a pretty great actress now. And what's with with the Gadget Mobile? That sucked. Yeah, I'm looking at the... Oh, you know who wrote this? Zach Penn. Zach Penn, that sounds familiar. He uh, wrote such great hits as X-Men 3. Uh, he wrote Incredible Hulk. He's currently writing the... Well, has written The Avengers. Um, hmm. He wrote Elektra, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, this is not a good track record. He wrote the Fantastic Four video game, X2 story only. Yeah, see, he didn't have as much to do as X2 as he's credited for. Hmm. And he's writing the Avengers with Joss Whedon, so there is hope. Yeah, yeah. I bet he's just there like, Whedon, can I write now? No! <laughs> but, like, he, he did write Incredible Hulk, and Incredible Hulk was good. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> well, yes. Behind enemy lines. Oh, that's the one with Gene Hackman and uh, Owen Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> and he's not, wait, never mind. I'm not going to pull that joke out again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was nominated for a 1993 Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Screenplay. Yay. The Last Action Hero. <laughs> Last Action Hero. That's an Arnold movie. It sure is. To be or not to be. Not to be. <laughs> Bang. You <laughs> killed my father. Big mistake. <laughs> I wish he was like a ha- I wish um, Arnold was in a movie of Hamlet and just pull out of nowhere just this huge fucking minigun. I would love to see him play Hamlet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Yorick, I knew thee well. I love how Ian McKellen is also in Last Action Hero. <laughs> Just randomly. He uh, plays Ian. Death. That's awesome. <laughs> I am here to claim your soul. I was trying to control your mind, my dear. <laughs> uh, I love his voice. It's so, like, majestic. Yeah. And oh, you know what would be the greatest thing ever? Ian McKellen versus Morgan Freeman in a, in a debate club. Oh, man. That'd be cool. <laughs> I don't think that the world could contain that. Yeah. I'd like to see Liam Neeson do one of those as well. Yeah. Liam Neeson and Michael Clark Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Clark Duncan does have very d- 
distinct voice as well. Yeah, it's like Planet of the Apes, the two thousand, the Tim Burton one. Yeah, it was on the other day, and oh. I, I don't know anything about it. And some, and I was sort of like making dinner. It's like, look at all these apes, and <laughs> then I just hear, "You shall not." Da, 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 da. I was like, "That's Michael Clark Duncan." Yeah, that's. A, a, I hate that movie. I really do. I hate Tim Burton, so I probably hate the movie as well. Yeah. Well, the thing with me is that I'm a huge fan of the Apes franchise. Yeah. Um, I love Rise of the Planet of the Apes, but Planet of the Apes, the Tim Burton one, God, how many mistakes were in that movie? Well, uh, casting Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, um, but there was one <laughs> scene I did like. There was one scene I did like from the movie, which was... Uh, the scene where they had uh, that one general ape's uh, grandfather, I mean father, who turned out to be Char um, uh, Charlton Heston. Uh, that was his la I think that was his last acting role. Mm. And mm. He, he played an ape who turned out to know the origin of the ape species. Huh. Yeah. Did not know that. I just know I didn't like that movie because... It wasn't as good as the original one, yeah. and I like the original one a lot. Yeah, um, yeah. Rise of the Planet of the Apes is good, but of course it's always going to be like Charlton Heston all the way. <laughs> you damn dirty apes! Yeah, <laughs> the Statue of Liberty, classic stuff right there. Yeah, I mean, is there anything Charlton Heston can't do? Well, did do Probably because not. <laughs> well, he can't live anymore. That's one thing. Yeah. It lives on in the afterlife. Oh, I'm trying to remember what other movies I've seen him in. Well, it wasn't Ben Hur, uh, The Ten Commandments, The Greatest Show on Earth, um, Quake. Yeah. Soylent uh, Green. Touch of Evil. Right. He was in Wayne's World too. Really? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Where, really? What? What did he play? Good actor. <laughs> good enough for me. That's what he's credited as. Yeah. 